the wreckage of the early morning Aberdeen to Glasgow train lies crumpled and burnt in a remote valley. Carriages are crushed one on top of another. One lies metres away and appears partially burnt out. Tragically, three people died, including the driver. Astonishingly, just six people were taken to hospital and none of them are believed to be seriously injured. This was not a busy service and from CCTV inquiries and witness statements we believe all passengers have been accounted for. However, once the area has been made safe, then a full and thorough search will be conducted. Smoke could be seen rising from the scene as scores of emergency vehicles descended on the isolated location. A major incident was quickly declared. This has been a really tragic incident and my condolences are with the loved ones of the three people who have lost their lives. The area had been hit by torrential thunderstorms overnight. Flooding was reported in several parts of Scotland and pictures have emerged of standing water on the tracks near the accident scene. Investigators have the difficult task of establishing how this could happen to a train that had already been significantly delayed and was travelling through curving, steep-sided cuttings just hours after such heavy rain. One area of investigation will be the condition of the track and its surroundings. I think what we'll have to do is wait and see what the British Transport Police uh, come up with. The tragic death of the driver in this disaster makes the urgent investigation more difficult. Search teams will be examining the wreckage when it's safe to do so, but they believe everyone has been accounted for. The Queen has released a statement to express her sympathies. She says it was with great sadness that I heard of the train derailment. The Duke of Edinburgh and the entire royal family join me in sending our thoughts and prayers to the families of those who have died and those who have been injured.